Hello YouTube, um, today I'm doing an unboxing of the new movie that just came out, well not too long ago at all, um, The Woman in Black with Daniel Radcliffe aka Harry Potter, um, this is the DVD, that's the cover of it, don't watch it alone, uh, here's the back, a spine tingling tail, now this is, I've already watched this, um, it's kind of scary. I mean, almost all throughout the movie, it's really, really dark, and sometimes it's hard to see what's really happening, but that's what makes it even more scary. Um, it's not really gory. Only, like, one part of it is, and that's when the girl spits up blood and stuff because she, like, um, she, uh, drank some poison or something. Um, this movie is about, uh... A lawyer, I think. I forgot what he is. I think that's what he... No, he's not a lawyer. He's a house salesman guy, whatever. And he's trying to sell this house. And it's all creepy and haunted. And the whole town's people don't like him being there. And... Supposedly, because he saw her, then she goes after her. She kills people's kids because her kids died. Um... A haunted house thrill ride. Alright, I'll read the back of this little um, thing right here. Because you can't see that. Oh, and that's creepy. What did they see? I didn't even see that. I mean, I saw the picture, but I didn't see it, their eyes like that. Um, Arthur Kibbs, a widowed lawyer. Yeah, he is a lawyer. I thought he was. Oh, I'm sorry, I moved the camera. What a lawyer whose grief has put his career in jeopardy is sent to remote village to sort out the affairs of a recently deceased something. But upon his arrival, it soon becomes clear that everyone in the town is keeping deadly secret. Although the townspeople try to keep Kips, Gips, Kips from learning their tragic history, he soon discovers that the house being to his client is haunted by a ghost of a woman who's determined to find someone and something she lost and no one not even the children are safe in her vengeance um the ending of this movie was freaking horrible i mean it was good ending but then it turned out to be a bad ending and i'm not going to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it so Here's the DVD right there. The Woman in Black in clear. It's Woman in Black, but it's got a clear disc. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's horrible. That was a horrible little saying I just said. Let's see. Ah, get out of there. Okay, there's that. Not really. Nothing. You don't really get much in that. And then again, I'm too cheap to get the Blu-ray stuff. So there's the disc. Pretty kind of weird the way they write the woman in black. Um, yeah. So, this movie was sometimes pretty scary. I mean, it was kind of scary. It's definitely very scary for little kids. Like, my six-year-old nephew wanted to watch it, and I just told him no. Because he, he got freaked out just by watching the trailer. I let him watch the trailer on YouTube, and he didn't sleep the night before. Uh, so it's got Daniel Radcliffe in it. And this is the first time that Daniel Radcliffe's in, a, I think, in a, another movie other than Harry Potter, which that was also weird for me. It was hard to watch this movie because having him in there is just weird for me because I've been a fan of Harry Potter series forever. You know, I've read all the books. I've have all the movies and the video games and stuff and it's just weird seeing him in another film then again he was on broadway and he was naked with a white horse but i would never seen that i mean i saw the pictures but there's no way i could do that being that place naked and live and everything so yeah overall this movie's pretty good i would advise going and getting it um if you like scary films and darkness and things that pop out out of nowhere sometimes, then yeah, I'd say you get this. 
So I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is My Halo's Good. And please subscribe with comments. How you like the film. Or if you're going to get the film. If you have any more questions about it. And thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.